You've probably been to a Tupperware party or a pampered chef or silpata party at someone's home. Well, now the newest home sales party has hit Pittsburgh, the Jeans Party. I talked with the CEO about how it's helping women, and I had to stop by a party for some shopping myself. What woman doesn't love a party with girlfriends, shopping, and jeans? Put it all together, and you've got a recipe for success, a jeans party. The company is called Vault Denim. I've never heard of this before, so I was a little skeptical, you know, but when I first came in, I was like, oh, you know, I was already picking out our sizes. Jamie Petroff brought her daughter and her friend to this party at Max Manny Salon in Robinson. Parties can be at a business like this or at a home, like this party in Brentwood. With wine and appetizers, it's a fun, relaxed atmosphere to try on jeans. Turn around, let me see the back. Oh, those I like are those super hands. cute. I really like those a lot. She's actually very cute. Those are keepers. <laughs> you don't feel so rushed. You're not so much embarrassed. A lot of people don't want to go into the waiting room and then come back out and say, well, how did these look? I can never find jeans that fit nice or that I like, you know, the length and everything. So these are perfect. I really like these. What makes it even more fun? The prices. The designer jeans, those you'd find in department stores for $150 to $300, sell here for $72 to $80. The bling jeans found in boutiques and department stores for over $100 are $48 to $78 here. We've covered up the labels on some of these jeans because the designers don't want to advertise the fact that you can buy them at such deep discounts. Doug Brady founded Vault Denim and came to Pittsburgh to explain how it works. So, Doug, how are you able to get these designer jeans at such a great price? When premium jean companies uh, create their lines, they have overstock or, or jeans that didn't sell. So we're always buying last season's jeans from the manufacturers or from different uh, wholesalers that sell those jeans. These are the jeans you might find at places like Marshall's and Gabriel's. Vault Denim is now coming out with its own jeans line for plus sizes, maternity, men, and kids. To go and spend the money to, on these kids whenever they grow so fast, it's almost ludicrous to do it. So this is a really great idea. In addition to saving money, some women are making money as sales reps. Brady says it's been a lifeline for some families in this economy, whether it's selling jeans for some extra cash or as a full-time job. I would say that 90% of our distributors are happy with just a few hundred dollars a month to be able to, you know, maybe put their kids in youth programs or to be able to you know, ease the, the budget at the household. We do have several distributors that are making six-figure incomes. However, it just depends on how hard you want to work the business. Vault Denim started a year and a half ago, and it's already in every state but Hawaii. It costs about $150 to start selling, and you don't actually have to buy any inventory. You check out the jeans like a library, and then you return what you don't sell. We've got more information on our website under links and numbers. Okay, so uh, you went to, the, to at least one of these parties. Do you like it? Well, I can't resist jeans. I mean, women never have enough pair of jeans. Yes, I did buy a pair. <laughs> I have an idea. And I love them. I have an idea. While all the women are shopping for jeans, there uh -huh. could be a, a component for the the husbands, yes. like in the garage, power tools. Perfect. Or something See? like that. Now that's something a whole that the guys new business idea. There you go. And if you wanted a pair of jeans, there's nothing to stop a guy from, <laughs> right. or a woman from getting a power They're tool. They're going to have men's jeans too. So. Just an idea. <laughs>